So there's a, a magic formula I have for responding to reporters. Number one, we have a brief introduction of who you are. Not your whole resume. They don't care that you were valedictorian or that you sang in the school choir. You remember the glee club, whatever. No, three sentences. One, tell them who you are and what you do. The name of your company means nothing to them. You have to position the name of your company so they know that you are a leadership expert, a customer service expert. That will tell them what you do. The second thing, you want to give them uh, a few ideas of you know, how you are famous or how you are credible. So it could be you've written a book. It could be you've spoken at the American Nursing Association conference. It could be that you've been in business for 10 years or five years. That, that's good too. And one other thing that I created was a line that says, I've been quoted in the media many times, including, and then name drop three places. This is a subtle note to them that says, gee, if she's good enough for the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal, she's good enough for me. And if your three places are the Nursing Journal and today's hardware supply, that's fine. Vertical markets are perfectly acceptable. It shows that you know how to play the game. Now, if you don't have any media yet, that's okay. Reporters don't expect to see this line. This is something that I created because I see things differently. I said, what does a reporter want to do? They don't want to get blindsided. They don't want to get caught unaware. They don't want to go talk to a rookie. They want to talk with someone with experience. So those three sentences tell them that you are credible. Well, guess what? All my clients are credible. So the next section, teaches you, tells the reporter rather, how you stand out from everyone else. So I like to put three tips, and these tips are about two sentences long. So this way the reporter can literally copy the information from your message and paste it into the article if they're under deadline pressure or if they're lazy. And frankly, that happens a lot. So read between the lines here. You could be quoted without being interviewed. A lot of people don't realize that. Because if you give the reporter exactly what they need, they're going to take it, run with it, and move on because what do they want to do? They want to get the story done quickly. So the third idea, quite simply, how they can get in touch with you. So it's your name, your phone, your email address, so they can check you out or send you additional questions. That's it. It's as simple as that. Don't make it any more complicated than it needs to be. I lose clients all the time because they spend hours and hours trying to write three tips. Actually, they try to write the whole article. That's not, their, that's not your job. That's their job. That's a reporter's job. They just need a tip from you. So give them the tip and you're done. This shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes. It's easy. So that's how you respond to reporters. That's the easy way. That's the magic formula for responding to reporters.